<laughs> hey bestie, it's your favorite caffeinated, medicated, and never hydrated nurse. And you're probably wondering where I am right now. It's pretty cold, but I'm just wearing this sweater just because I'm so used to it. Well, we're here right now in Van Horn in Montreal, Quebec, where, a little backstory, this is where I lived the first time I arrived here as an immigrant here in Canada, September 12, 2013. This is our mini Philippines here in Montreal. To cut this short off, we're here right now in a restaurant called Calle. Calle is where most of us Filipino, if you ever live in the Philippines, is where we all play, be with our cousins, where we do fiestas in the Calle. So this is where I'm gonna bring you because we're gonna make some Filipino foods here in Calle restaurant and let's go. Okay, you guys, come let's do this right here. This is the most Filipino thing. They're trying to get the vibe of like, you know, the Philippines. First of all, that is so nostalgic to me. First of all, that's the Montreal street sign, but most of all, that's like the Bahai Kubo back in the Philippines. So that's very um, authentic and so Filipino to us. So now we're in the kitchen of Calier. We're gonna make some Filipino food because I know you guys have been requesting to make Filipino food. So we'll determine what kind of Filipino foods are we gonna make. And uh, let's do it. What's your name? I'm Scott. Scott? Yeah. And how uh, long you been in Calier? Since the start? Or? Since, I think, since the start. Yeah. The start of it? Yeah. So, how long have you been in the Philippines? Uh, actually, I'm born in Tunduka. Uh, yes. I immigrated here in 2018, May. Did you learn to us? No, I didn't learn to learn to us. Yeah, I didn't learn to us. Yeah, I didn't learn to us. So, my favorite thing to me as a child is probably adobo. Para sa adobo? Yes, it's adobo. Classic, classic, classic na adobo. Okay. Classic. Akin sisig talaga. All time favorite pag ka nasa ano sila, pag nandun sa sisig plate, tapos may extra unlimited rice. <laughs> Ganun lang lagi. Anong Filipino food ang lulutuin natin today? Um, uh, the sisig, pork sisig. Si pork sisig. Okay. Yeah. Well, just in time you guys because that's literally one of my favorite foods. So, let's make some sisig. So as you may know, in the Philippines, we don't measure things. We just put it, we use our heart to measure everything and that's how we basically do everything in the Philippines. Let me tell you something about that is it's always the perfect taste. So for this one, we're gonna use a pork meat, but um, there's also a version where we use pork ears, which is like a harder thing. Ito na mimi sa Pilipinas. Guys, do you see how beautiful that is? We eat this, I could eat this every single day. That right there, guys, is authentic Filipino. It's one of my favorite Filipino food, and this could never replace anything to me. This is my childhood, this is my teenage years as a kid growing up, and this will always remind me of my cousins back home, my friends, and you know, all the celebrations we did back home in the Philippines, but this is it. All right, you guys, next we're gonna make some sinangag. I used to be questioned by my friends here in Canada. They're like, oh my God, you eat rice every single time, like no matter what time it is, no matter what day it is. And I was like, yeah, because that's how we do it in the Philippines. And I think the backstory of like why we eat rice first thing in the morning is because that's when we usually need the energy the most. Next thing we're gonna make is sizzling lechon kawali. Will I get hypertension because of it and high blood pressure? I don't care. <laughs> We're making lechon kawali, baby. Salamat, kuya. Um, I know you guys are like, I thought it's cold. Well, it's cold, but at the same time, you want to enjoy this in the street, right? That's why it's called kalye. All right, bestie, kaina. Let's have some Filipino food for lunch. Uh, let's start with the sisig that we just made. The best thing about this is you mix the yolk with the sisig. Take the lemon, squeeze in, and eat it with rice. Mm. Seasick is better paired up with an alcohol in it. But since I'm driving today, I'm not gonna drink any alcohol. But Red Horse, Pale Pilsen, Heineken would be the best pair up for this food right here. It's so funny because people are looking at me because I'm outside. No one eats outside at this moment because it's winter. We are doing it street way, baby. That's why it's cal, yeah, baby. I could eat this forever. Our second food right here, Yempo. Filipino Lempo. There's 
Hello, you guys. Hello. Come give me a hug. Big hug. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. You're just in the in the in the flesh. In the flesh. The big eye box and everything. I love you guys. Be safe. Okay guys, let's go back eating. You know the food is good. Hello Tita. Come Okay, I'm just looking at Um, come Tita. Look, I have liempo. You want some liempo, Tita? No, thank you. And I have some sisig okay, and garlic rice. Look at that. It's like being in the calle back in the Philippines, right? With all the Filipino coming in and saying hi. And you always offer people food, no matter who they are. But if they're passing by, you always say hi. You always offer them food because that's how we do it Filipino style. All right, let's have some more. Mmm. Mmm. Do you guys hear the crunch? Just get some fried rice. Mmm. It's so good. Okay, Bessie, well, thank you so much for coming with me and making some authentic Filipino food. If you want to visit Kalia, you can find it here in Van Horn in Montreal. One of my favorite Filipino restaurants here. And honestly, if you haven't tried Filipino food before, you absolutely have to try because this is something that we love, something that dear to us, something that we as Filipino are proud of because this is what we share in our table, during gatherings, or just even in a normal day. This is what we eat. And I, like I told you guys, I remember eating this every single time during my high school years because this is the only thing I can afford before. And even this, the liempo, I cannot even afford this before because we don't have that capability to buy that. But now, we're blessed, we're here. Again, thank you so much for coming with me, Bestie. I hope you had so much fun. I hope you try this food, this Filipino food. And I will see you guys again for another episode. So, kaina, let me finish all this food. See ya. Oh my God, I feel like I'm back home in the Philippines where I just say hi to everyone. Guys, we invite our namin kayo dito sa Kalye Restaurant. Naka dito kami sa Plamondon area sa 4735 Avenue Van Horn. Napakasarap ng pagkain namin. Lahat ng pagkain na makikita mo sa Kalye sa Pilipinas. Masarap to. Yun lang. <laughs>